Happy Friday, gang. Here's our Friday warm up. So we got an EMOM by four minutes, starting with max inchworms. No push up there. Max alternating groiners, max jumping jacks. Finish out with max burpees. All right, inchworms, you're going to walk your hands on out. Get a good hamstring stretch right there. Walk them out, walk them out, walk them out. All the way push up position. Keep that core engaged. And then walk them back. Right there and stand on up. That is one, and then you have max for a minute. But don't take these fast. That's not the point of these, is to get a good stretch and warm up our hammies. Next, you got alternating groiners. Similar thing here, guys. Don't go super fast through this. Get a good stretch in between reps. Good stretch, good stretch, then jump and switch. Notice that his heel is on the ground here, and he is holding and then switching. Again, not a super heart rate, thing for us to get warm with, but more we want to warm up those hip flexors. Now it's time to warm up our heart rate by jumping up and doing some jumping jacks. Boom, right there. And we're finishing out with max burpees. So don't worry, your heart rate will be up, but stay controlled on those first two. Again, we're going all the way down to the ground. Notice he's landing feet flat right there. All right, today's workout is called lat day. So, or no, 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 lap man begins. I don't know why I said lap day. Um, <laughs> we got an AMRAP by 25 minutes. We are starting with a minute of cardio, going into 20 alternating V-ups, then 10 and 10 single dumbbell suitcase deadlifts, and finish out with 10 bent over rows. So cardio, y'all already saw jumping jacks. You can go high knees, running in place, boom, right there. You can go mountain climbers. Touching that foot, keeping shoulders over wrists. Or guys, run outside if it's nice. You can do some jump ropes, some up downs, up to you gang. Um, but be working for a minute. Then you got alternating V ups. So we want to be in a hollow position and then you're reaching for your toes right there, throwing your arms first, going one at a time. If you need to rest your feet on the ground, you can as well. Then we got 10 and 10 single leg dumbbell suitcase deadlifts. So with these guys, the idea is keep your shoulders square. Don't let yourself just lean to the side, but hinge back. Once you pass your knee, you're gonna bend down just like if you were holding a barbell. So right there, nice and controlled, 10 on the right side, then 10 on the left side. But again, notice how square his shoulders are um, and how even he is through this movement and make sure you're squeezing your glutes on the way up, breathing out on the way up as well. Then finishing out with 10 bent over rows. So you're gonna stay hinged over and then you're pulling that dumbbell or kettlebell back towards your hip. Right there. All right, gang, go crush your Friday workout.